everybody welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a foundation and also a foundation primer review originally i was always using the becca ultimate coverage complexion cream and it comes in a container like this and then i also use their velvet ooh, i was also using their velvet blurring primer okay so this was the two combinations that i used before so now we're going to be trying the backlight priming filter, which I'm very, very nervous about, to be honest with you. And also, I'm going to be trying the Ultimate Coverage 24-Hour Foundation. So the foundation is in a glass bottle. I like that. The previous foundation container that I had was like more of like a plastic container. You couldn't really see the product inside, so I really can't tell you if you know how much I have left in here. Um, but I like the fact of having a glass. Okay, I'm going to try to stick with just using the backlight primer. You guys know I love the um, Ever Matte Poreless Perfecting Primer. This is my like holy grail for my skin. Oily skin people, you need this primer in your life. The Ever Matte Poreless Perfecting Primer. This is also glass. Pump. So anytime there's like pearls inside of a primer, anything that says anything remotely close to shimmer and glow and or pearlescent, anything like that, luminous, um, people with oily skin tend to run from those type of products simply because their skin produces so much oil. They don't want anything or we don't want anything remotely shiny on our skin. I did one pump because I don't know how much to use but I'm going to just put this primer all over and just see what it does with my skin I'm not going to use I'm going to try not to use my ever matte poreless perfecting primer I'm just going to put this on everywhere and just blend it so it has like a clean scent I love the way it smells and I can tell you it is making my skin feel really like smooth it doesn't feel like it's going to be a very good primer for my oily skin you can already see that it's making me look sort of like dewy okay you can already see that so we're gonna move on to the foundation I have mine in the shade espresso now I don't know if espresso is my right shade it looks like it's probably going to be a tad bit darker than what i prefer um i was looking at the website and just going by let's see the shade espresso falls under the neutral category so if you don't know they have warm neutral and cool undertones that you can select your foundation color from and espresso is the second darkest under the neutrals so this is probably going to be too deep for me. I can probably go up one to two shades, which is going to be Mocha, one shade up, or either Terracotta, which is two shades up. I probably should go for Terracotta, but we're going to use this today for demonstration purposes. I can always brighten it up a little bit with some, you know, highlighting and stuff going on. Let's get some brushes. And I'm just going to pump on the back of my hand just to see how much one pump is. Ooh. That came out pretty thick. Definitely thick. It's not doing, you know, a lot of running. It's thick. It's like a cream. Alright, so I'm going to use my Real Techniques blending brush. And you can see the color is... Let's blend it in. Let's see. Actually, it's not bad. Definitely not bad. Now, what it's going to look like when it oxidizes is going to be a different story. So I'm just going to, I'm going to do one side of my face. And then we can move to the other side. So I'm just going in light. I'm not doing the whole pump on one side of my face. I'm just going in light because this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation.
Okay. All right, so I'm liking the coverage of it, and I went over it just lightly. Um, so as far as coverage, <laughs> it's definitely covering the uh, dark spots that I have there. And I did a light, very light application. I still have a lot on my hand to do the other side of my face, okay? So I still have room to add more foundation if I want to um, go a little bit more fuller in coverage. But I love the finish of it. It's definitely not super matte or drying. It looks really, really good looks natural it does look like skin so I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and also I may go a little bit heavier under the eyes I don't know for more coverage but I like how it looks so far so we're going to go ahead and do the other side so lately I've been learning that you know you don't necessarily need that much foundation like just a little bit sometimes a full pump is not necessary need especially if you are really working on your skincare and you don't have as much discoloration or pigment hyperpigmentation to um, cover or conceal if you don't have that much to conceal one full pump sometimes is just too much foundation so i can tell you that the foundation is definitely deeper than i would prefer so one to two shades lighter maybe one shade lighter would have been better because I'm looking at my chest area and my face is definitely darker than my chest just looking at it in the mirror it's definitely darker but we're gonna go ahead and highlight and contour just to bring it all together but so far I love how the finished looks of this foundation it smells just like Becca's you know other foundations nothing drastic it doesn't feel or smell like perfume is on your face or anything like that so that's good All right, so now my final thoughts about the foundation so what I recommend it yes I will recommend the foundation I love how it applied it is full coverage cream foundation so or liquid cream foundation so you can definitely get away with applying just a little bit if you don't need maximum full coverage and also if you need full coverage it is a buildable foundation i love how to apply it with just a brush i love the finish of it it does look skin like it's not super drying nor is it a very oily foundation so i did like that about it i wish i would have my perfect match as far as color in this foundation i am definitely dark <laughs> darker than my neck and chest area okay definitely darker you guys probably won't be able to see in person um see it off on camera it may look like it matches on camera because at least to me and on screen it looks like it matches but here sitting in daylight i can definitely see you know difference between my face and my chest and neck area but as far as the finish of the foundation it looks pretty pretty darn good as far as the primer i'm not sure about the primer because simply because i do apply a lot of powders on top of my foundation so after i apply my foundation i like to you know set my under eye concealer with the powder then i set my foundation with the powder i also like to contour with the powder so all of that powder pretty much <laughs> covers up anything the backlight primer is trying to give me okay any luminous finish or dewy finish that it's trying to give me gets covered up by all of the powders and i'm pretty much mattified by the time i finish my makeup okay which is why i go in with my little misting spray just to get a little bit of dewiness back so i'm not 100 percent sure if i would recommend or suggest you're going out to buy the primer if i was doing primer if you have oily skin to get the ever more the ever met poreless perfecting primer but i definitely love the foundation i love the packaging about the foundation it feels like a high-end foundation and heck it is a high-end foundation retails for about 44 dollars um but i have a coupon code 
that I put down in this video for you guys to use to get 15% off of your order, okay? So it is $44, but you can get 15% off by using the code. And I think you have until October 31st to use that code to get your discount. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Stay flawless, boo.